All right. Well, good evening, everyone. This is Brian, and uh, today is Monday, October 28th. We're here for our Forex Live session. And before we get started with training, I do need to let you know that unique experiences and past performances do not guarantee future results. I think everyone here understands that. We know the trading involves risk, but uh, I am going to pause for just a second and give you an opportunity to read through this, and then we can get started with our trading day. All right, that should be long enough. Close that down. So what are we going to do? Well, um, as we were talking to before I hit record, what, we're, uh, what we'll be doing today, as we do every Monday night, is uh, we use this session to uh, just show a couple of things. It's a, a great opportunity for our brand new members to come in and uh, get some additional uh, training on how to utilize the, uh, the tools that we include with 21st Century Forex. And um, then, once we've shown how we utilize the tools to park trades, then we'll pop over to the daily report, and uh, we'll go through that to show how we can utilize that daily report to set up our key channels to watch for the remainder of the week. And uh, when I say key channels, we're looking for big, big channels, the three of threes, and uh, we'll talk more about what that is as we start looking at the report. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, everyone should have open their daily report from Forex Joe. And uh, just refresh that real quickly. Uh, daily report from Forex Joe, as well as your trade alerts. So Forex Joe puts out an alert um, every day. And uh, we, I don't know why, that's, I thought we had a more recent report. Uh, probably because the markets were slow, but Forex Joe may have done this a bit early. Uh, total snoozer today, wasn't it? I mean, there were definitely pips to be made. Um, uh, you know, in, in most of the pairs, but uh, they certainly weren't moving much, weren't giving us too much opportunity there. So um, for Forex Joe's alert for the day, uh, we have, uh, he put this out a little bit early. This market gets so slow. So what we have here is, um, you know, just a, a little bit different from what we would normally see with our, our usual alert for buys and sells. So what I'll do is um, utilize the daily report to show how we could park some buy orders and sell orders off of the uh, information that's included there. Uh, typically, on um, Forex Joe's alerts, he'll give us the uh, the buy and the sell for the uh, euro, for the pound, and then usually the US yen or the Aussie USD, um, as well as some other pairs if they're if we're seeing anything. When markets are very very range bound, uh, like they are, Forex Joe sometimes will do the report early, and uh, because we're just not seeing much action. And that's kind of the case um, for what we saw today. We didn't see much going on. Uh, coming into tomorrow, into Tuesday, um, there's some, some U.S. news that might keep things kind of flat until these news events occur. So we have news throughout the week. Um, you know, so there's some, some big news tomorrow. Uh, and then on uh, Wednesday, of course, we have our ADP non-farm non payroll or non-farm employment change, which is usually the precursor to non-farm payroll. Um, although this week, instead of having non-farm payroll on the 1st, it's actually been postponed until next week. So we may see a little bit of a blip here on Tuesday with the core retail, followed by a blip on Wednesday with uh, non-farm, the ADP report. And then, um, you know, we may just kind of stay flat until the following Friday when we have non-farm payroll on the 8th. So, um, just some things to consider, and uh, more than likely the reason for these extremely range-bound uh, markets that we're seeing presently. So, with that said, let's um, let's pop over, and we'll utilize the day the um, daily report, which is across 22 currency pairs, and uh, it also includes trades if we have them. And uh, even the daily report is not giving us any trades on the euro USD. Just uh, not enough going on, not enough volatility to drive anything there. So um, looking down, uh, we'll go to the next one. We'll, we'll utilize this for uh, for parking a, uh, a scalper's buy and a scalper's sell. So what we'll do is we'll utilize this pound USD. And uh, what we have here, we have two trades on the potential trade recommendations. Now remember, these aren't Forex Joe's trades. These are trades that are automatically generated by our uh, algorithm that generates these daily reports. 
uh, Forex Joe puts his trades, his personal analysis and his personal trades here in the trade alert section. So uh, sometimes when you've got slow markets, you don't always see the full alert. Um, and that's kind of the case today. He'll pick up tomorrow and, and give us some additional information as the markets get moving. But um, for now, just to show how to use the software, we'll park an order uh, using this, um, this trade alert here from the pound USD. So let's go over to the pound USD. And at the time when this came out, the, uh, the market was trading at uh, 61.71. So we had, uh, so we were trading, I'm sorry, it was trading at 61.56. So what we had here was we have a buy up here at 61.71 and we have a sell at 61.41. And it gives us some additional information here to look for. Um, what we're going to do to park this is um, the way this alert is written, we're looking for you know a break of this area and then um, you know looking for our first take profit around here at 61.86 and then followed by uh, 61.86 and then followed by 62.00, 62.01 on the buy side and then it's looking um, here on the sell side uh, for this to move from 61.41 down to 61.26 and then 61.11. So uh, what we can do to utilize this information here is uh, we'll reload our chart. And on our chart, we're using the pending order software. So um, what we'd be using is, is one of our templates, either the pending order pro or the FTT pending order pro, whichever you choose. The FTT pending order pro includes the um, thermal grid lines, which is what you see here. And uh, so that's the one I actually have as part of my, my personal template. So we'll, um, we'll utilize this one, the pending order pro. And what this does is it gives us a green and red lines on our screen. The green lines are our buy lines, the red lines are our sell lines, and all we have to do is we trade from the chart and we can move these exactly to where we want them to be so that we can enter our trades. Now the green line is pretty much where we want it. We're looking for an entry at 61.71 and uh, this currently says 61.70 so we just need to adjust this a little bit. To adjust it all we do is we click it um, to select it and then we just drag it to where we want it to be. So as we drag it up, we can see here on the right-hand side where our, our entry order actually is. Uh, you can also see it as you hover over that line. It'll tell you what the line is and then the, and then the um, value that it's placed at. So um, all we would do to move those lines is just click them and drag them where we want to go. So we'll do the same here for our take profit lines. Again, uh, the light green, the green lines are our buy lines. So we have the dark green as our buy entry. Uh, the light green, it would be our take profit one and take profit too. Again, as you hover over these, you can see where they are. So um, all we do is we move that down and we're gonna move this down to uh, 61.86. And we can just, uh, you can either eyeball it or you can try to be right on. Uh, we'll show you how to be exactly on point in just a moment, but let's just eyeball it for right now. And then we've got 6200, 6201 for the take profit too. Uh, we also need to set our stop loss. And typically we'll set our stop um, to be about equal to what we've got for our first take profit. We don't want to you know, risk 40 pips to make 10, so we'll keep our, our uh, profit taking pretty darn quick. And once that's set, all we do is we click move to buy. So we would select this, click move to buy, and it'll take just a couple ticks over over the market. And here we are, we now have a buy order entered, and that is pending. Uh, next, we would enter our sell order, and uh, we enter that at 61.41, which uh, this is down here. So we're going to put just the 61.41. And if we want to do this to be right on the money, we can either, again, you can either just select it and drag it, or you can right click it if you want to be exact. You can right click it, go to trend line properties, and then simply select it here to say 61.41. And 6141 and when you click OK it'll move it to the exact number uh, right there so uh, there we have our cell 6141 with a take profit of 6126 which is right about here and 6111 
just right about there. All right, once that's on, we simply click Move to Sell, and voila, we have uh, both orders on. Well, in just a second. There we go. There we go. So now we have both orders on, and both orders are pending, uh, waiting for execution. So uh, we're all set to go. That's how we park the orders. Now, the cool thing here, oh, I didn't set my stop loss. Uh, and then we can just modify any part of the order by simply selecting our stop loss or our take profit, and we can drag that wherever we'd like it to be in order to um, adjust the trade as the uh, either the pending order is on or as the trade is already underway. Now, one important thing to remember here is the uh, the benefit of the software is we're trading in thirds. So if you're going to create a custom uh, custom template, make sure that your lot size is a multiple of three, number one. Uh, number two, the software automatically protects us on our trades. So as we are uh, as you know, we know what our initial risk is going into this. Our risk is the difference between our, our entry and our stop loss. But uh, the cool thing is, as the trade moves in our direction, if we move up here and we touch this take profit one area, uh, once take profit one is hit, the software automatically peels off a third of the trade and then moves our stop loss to break even plus one. So automatically protecting as we're taking profit and then we're protecting our profit by ensuring that this doesn't move back against us or that we don't have to make any kind of manual alterations to the trade. And that's uh, that's really cool. Now in order for that to happen though, we have to make sure our computer always is on so it can't be in sleep mode or, or, or be shut down once you once that stop once these trades are set up, in order for the expert advisor to operate, the computer has to be running. So uh, you just have to make sure that your computer doesn't go to sleep mode or that you don't shut your laptop case or anything like that in order to keep these trades active. So uh, that's how we utilize the software. You know, pretty easy, not a whole lot to that. Uh, once you get the hang of it, you can set these trades up very, very quickly. Um, so now uh, the next thing we'll do is uh, now we can pop over to the daily report and go through that on, on a uh, little more in-depth scale and just uh, look for the key channels that we'll want to watch as we trade throughout the uh, throughout the rest of this week. And I say the rest of the week, you know, how do we, you know, how can we look for key channels now to figure out where they're going to be for the rest of the week? Well, typically, especially in these range-bound markets that we've been in, uh, if you start seeing a very heavy channel, a three of three uh, channel, which when I'm saying three of three, we're looking for uh, price to be lining up on a daily a weekly and a monthly level. So if we see a channel top or a channel bottom in alignment on our short-term, mid-term, and long-term levels, that's telling us that it's a pretty darn major channel. But what will typically happen if you see that number is that, especially in a range bell market, you'll see price may you know move up to it and repel, and uh, you'll see it multiple times through the week before price finally breaks through and either you know, repels off of it or breaks through and moves on. Uh, beyond it. So we like to look for those key channels to uh, watch for areas to trade throughout the uh, remainder of the uh, of the week. So all we'd have to do, and this is a pretty quick session on Mondays, we keep, usually keep these to about 30 minutes. I doubt to, today will be any longer. Um, we just simply scan the report and all we have to do is we scan the report looking for uh, channel tops or channel bottoms that are lining up on that three of three level. So we just uh, we just simply scroll through. Uh, there are some key numbers we're seeing here. You know, here on this pound USD. For those of you that have been members with us for a while, you know that 6044 holds quite a bit of significance, and uh, we're seeing 6044 potentially coming back into play here. Uh, we do have 6100, 6097 is our most immediate uh, channel bottom, which is down here at the at the daily channel. But if we do break that, we could potentially see 6044 again, which would be a big number for us. If we did move to 6044, I would certainly look the first time around, uh, depending on if there was any news or not, I would I would look to uh, to buy it off of that level once it got there. And uh, that's just simply following Forex Joe's methodology. You know, if we're if we're trading below and we come to a, a three of three channel at the top, which is a channel top, then we would automatically sell that uh, the first time it got there. That's just kind of a given with Forex Joe's methodology. 
uh, barring any you know major news events happening you know right around the time of of price moving to that level, um, and then you know conversely, if we have a, a three of three channel bottom and we're trading above and we're moving down to that level, the first time it gets there, we're going to look to sell that. Then we're going to see, or I'm sorry, we're going to look to buy that, and then we're going to see what occurs under live conditions and uh, whether we need to hold off or or uh, keep buying and looking for the bounces. Uh, so again, so just uh, scanning through real quickly, just takes us a couple of minutes to go through this daily report. Um, scanning through, uh, looking for the USD Swiss, not seeing any real three of three alignment. We do see a two of three here at 86.47, but we're looking for the three of threes, and those are the ones that we're most concerned with right now uh, to mark our charts with and, and keep track of. Uh, U.S. Yen, 99.67 up here at the top. That's been a very significant number for us this entire year, um, but we're quite a ways away from there. Uh, 97.40 for the bottom, lining up as a two of three channel. Definitely be a number to watch if you're trading live, but uh, nothing that, that we would want to park in order at if we're, um, we're just simply trading the, looking for the, the, the major channels, the key channels. So scrolling through, here we go. Uh, Aussie, Aussie USD, 95.48. So let's have a look here at the Aussie USD, 95.48. We actually just broke it. Uh, we had a big push down right now, uh, broke it. So this was a three of three channel right here. This uh, this area was a three of three channel. So now we'll have to keep an eye on what's what's going to happen. Now this would have been a trade that had gone against us because typically. Trading above three of three channel, we're going to look to buy that the first time it comes there, but um, we would have uh, so we probably would have gotten stopped out that time. But you know you can't win them all. Losses are part of trading. You have to be able to understand the loss uh, or, or take the loss rather. Actually, we probably wouldn't have been in that. We had an Aussie announcement, so we probably would not have actually been in that trade. So um, because the news would have would have kept us out. So. Um, Anyway, so just just always watching to see what news is occurring before you place your trade. So now we've broken through a key channel. We've broken through a three or three channel. Now the the big thing under live conditions, especially as Tokyo is underway, is uh, now that we're trading below. Uh, I don't know, you know, obviously I don't know what came out of this um, this news, this announcement here. Um, where was it? We had um, you know Royal Bank of Australia Governor Stevens was speaking. Uh, I don't know, you know, what the outcome of that was, but what we'll want to do is watch the marketplace uh, during Tokyo. We may push back up and retest this level. Uh, now that we've broken it and confirmed this move below, if we come back to this level, we'd be looking to sell it off of here based on our trading methodology with Forex Show. And all that the methodology is, it's a very, you know, it's the very basic. It's the, uh, you know, what's tried and true method of support and resistance trading. If you have a major level of, of support. And that support is broken, then it'll that support now becomes resistance for you. You know, if you're jumping up and down right here on the floor, and you bust through the floor, you're now in the basement, and what was previously your floor is now your ceiling. So um, obviously that's what we're seeing here. We've broken through on news, and uh, now we're trading below. So if we push back to retest this, uh, based on our trading methodology, we'll look to sell it when we come back to retest 95.48. So. Um, that's a key number for us. We may see that a few times. Oops. Somehow detach that from the. Uh, what is going on? <laughs> All right. We may see that number a few times over the course of this week. So want to keep an eye there. In fact, sometimes if you've got these key channels, what you might even do to keep yourself reminded of what they are is even just go to your your properties and maybe you want to color code that um, you know some other color. Just so that you know, it's a, a major level to watch. So that uh, if price moves there, you know that that's a three of three channel that it's moving back to. All right, so let's just keep scanning. What else do we have here? Uh, Euro yen, nothing. Euro pound, nothing. Pound yen. No three of threes. We're seeing some two of three channels, which are strong, but um, you know we always want to watch for the the three of three. Those are going to be our strongest levels. Uh, again, as we said earlier, barring any news event, you know obviously news is going to keep us out of it. it's a red report. Uh, we always want to be cognizant of of what um, what planned announcements are coming out. 
so that we don't jump in front of a bus. If we see the perfect setup, but we've got news in 10 minutes, it may not be the right time to jump into that. We can always wait and um, you know, take a trade after news occurs so that we're not uh, jumping right in front of some major market change. So here we have on the Euro CAD, we see uh, three of three channels. So if that's a pair that you trade, mark your charts. Big one right there. Scanning down uh, Swiss yen, we're seeing a channel top being established here at 109.24. Could be a big, uh, could be a big number for us. I think did we see? Oops. Yeah, there's some yen use tonight, but not not. Um, not major news, and actually it's already occurred, so we should be okay now if you're looking at those yen pairs. All right, so back over here. So you've got uh, Swiss yen looking like a three of three channel there, channel top. Uh, scrolling on through. Just takes you a second to go through this report, really, you know, just a couple of minutes, and you should be able to get your trade set and uh, move on for your day. So. Scanning through, we didn't see too much uh, posterity. I'm going to go ahead and park a sell off of this level here and uh, see if we can't scalp a few pips on a retracement during uh, this Tokyo. See if we'll come back and retest this key channel and uh, see if we can get a few pips off of a retest there. So I'm going to just park this and just see how it works out. We'll talk about it more. We have class in the morning as well, so we can talk about this in the morning after uh, after this has a chance to play out. So we'll look at the sell off of here and see how that goes. So we'll park in order using Forex Joe's methodology. So there we are. So that just took us a couple of minutes. We've been here for about 23 minutes. Uh, we went through and uh, we initially used the daily report to uh, park our trades. Uh, the daily report, you know, as you're well aware, uh, includes your channel information, which we use uh, both for setting up our trading week, we also use it in our live classes in the morning when we're looking for, for areas to trade. So you have your channel information here, you have your, um, your bias and your key numbers that we uh, want to keep an eye on. You've got your support and resistance information, and then uh, we also have potential trades. So uh, Forex Show didn't have any potential trades for the evening, and it looks like actually a lot of these don't either, um, just because the markets have been so range bound. But uh, you can always find trades here on the daily report as well as uh, the trades that Forex Show puts out on a daily basis with his Forex alerts. So we went through that. We talked. We talked about how to how to place the uh, place the trades and how to utilize our uh, trading product here, which is the uh, the Chart Trader uh, pending order software, or we also have a market order software. So we showed how to utilize that, and then we showed how we utilize the daily report to look for the key channels for our uh, our weekly setups. So there you have it. Let's go ahead and wrap it up. Uh, any questions at all? If there are any questions, go ahead and type them in. I'll, I'll keep, the, uh, keep the room open for just a couple more minutes. And if not, then we'll go ahead and call it a night, let you guys get on with your, your days and uh, or your evening, depending on where you are. And then we'll be back in the morning for our live class, and that's where we're actually looking at live market conditions utilizing the uh, daily report in conjunction with our daily trading regimen from Forex Joe to capture all the data that we need and then um, look to place some trades under live conditions and uh, see what we can pull out of the market. So uh, there we have it. Don't see any questions coming in, so let's go ahead and wrap it up. Uh, Forex Joe will probably be with us in the morning and provide some additional commentary as well, so we'll look forward to that. Uh, all right, guys, well, have a great one, and we will see you soon.